Hello, welcome to DIY Machines, where in this series of videos we will show you how to build your own 3D printable Arduino powered Bluetooth controlled DD85 robot. The first thing to print are the two half spheres of the body. It doesn't matter what colour you print them in, as we will be spraying them later. If you have a dark colour though, that would be ideal. Each half is different, as they have a tongue and groove fitting system. They take some time to print, and you should do this with a detailed layer height. The smoother the surface, both in and out, the more silent BB-8 will roll. Once your prints have completed, remove the mechanical supports. You can use a piece of sandpaper to help smooth out the inside of the two halves. Now we move to the main chassis for BB-8. Screw the Arduino onto the chassis. You don't need to screw it too tight, it just needs to be held still. Use 2.5mm cable tidies to secure this to the chassis. Trim and save the end of this cable tidy. Insert this into the hole as far as it can and then trim it flush. Then repeat the same steps with the other motor. Solder the first wire to the pin mark 1 on the motor shield. The second wire goes to the pin mark 0. The third wire is soldered to the second one in from the left hand side on the other side of the motor shield. And the fourth wire is soldered to ground. You can put this through the hole above and solder it from the other side. It's a little bit easier. To help prevent any strain on where the wires are soldered to the motors, add a cable tie as shown. Line up and fit the motor shield onto the Arduino. We can now attach the wires from our two motors to the motor shield. Before we continue, I'd like to take a quick moment to say thank you to my newest Patreon subscriber, DIY Wild. Thank you for your support, you helped make this video possible. If you would like to support this channel, please follow the Patreon link at the end of the video or you'll find it in the description below. Let's continue. Before we put any batteries in, we need to temporarily remove this jumper. This will protect the USB cable and our computer whilst we're programming the Arduino. Insert four AA batteries into the battery holder and then connect your Arduino to the PC. Open the Arduino IDE and copy the code linked in the description below. Paste it over the existing code and then upload it to your Arduino. Once you've uploaded it, you can open the serial monitor. This allows you to send commands to your Arduino over the serial connection. When we send the letter F over the serial commands, the robot tries to drive forwards. If we send the letter B, it tries to go backwards. When we send R, it tries to drive to the right. And when we send L, you've guessed it, it turns to the left. Sending S or any other character will tell the robot to stop. If when you tell your robot to drive forward, the two motors are spinning in opposite directions, it's easy to fix. Just scroll down to line 45 of your code 
and change the words backwards for forward, all written in capitals is important. And then on line 53, change forward to backward. Run the code again after sending it to your Arduino and things should work out just fine now. Now that we've completed programming the Arduino, you can unplug the USB cable and then put the jumper back in place. Now I'll connect the HM10 module to the wires we soldered to the motor shield earlier. This shows you which wire is to connect to what. For Apple devices, there is a free app available in the App Store. It's called HM10 Bluetooth Serial Lite. We'll install this and use it to control the robot. After the app has finished installing, open it and connect to the Bluetooth module. You'll be able to control the robot with the same commands we used in the Arduino IDE's serial connection earlier on in the video. If you'd rather control your robot using buttons as I am, then I'd highly recommend the professional version of this app. If your prints have come out well, the two halves of the ball should stay together on their own. If not, a bit of sellotape around the edge helps enormously. Now you should be able to drive your BB-8 around. It's a little hard at the moment to tell which way it's facing, as we haven't added its head yet. But it's still pretty good fun. An easy way to turn off your robot when you're not using it is just to remove one of the AA batteries. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. In the next video, we'll be covering the building of BB-8's head and adding in the LED... Oh. <laughs> if you'd like to see that when it's released, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, ciao for now.